now. It's been almost a year since the kidnapping of over 200 schoolgirls from Chibok in Nigeria. And for many who championed the hashtag Bring Back Our Girls, interest in finding the girls has waned over the last few months. However, an organization here in the UK is dedicated to making sure that they are not forgotten, nor the millions of girls around the world who want an education. As a way to increase public awareness, the Strong and Beautiful Project has filmed a music video, and the single is to be released to further help the cause. Well, my guest today is Judith Denton from Strong and Beautiful, and she joins me now in the studio. But before I speak to Judith, let's have a look at that music video. So Judith, it uh, sounds good, it looks great, and um, what inspired the idea behind that single? The inspiration for the single came when the Chibok schoolgirls were kidnapped um, last year. Um, I was inspired to write the song about what was happening um, to them, what had happened to them, and also to try and raise awareness, because for me it was um, something new that I hadn't heard before. Um, girls being kidnapped from school and then finding out that girls were not allowed an education. So I thought put the two together into a song and start raising awareness for other people like me who didn't know. And what has reaction been to that single? It's been great. The response has been great. Um, as you can see in the music video, we've had people wanting to come and be a part of the music video. We had our first charity event last year in November and the response and the support has been brilliant. We had our first charity event there to start raising awareness and to launch the single. So it's been, it's been good support. We could do with them all, but for now it's been really good. Yeah, it's, it looks great. And uh, just why did you go for this cause amongst, uh, above all others? Uh, the Chibok Schoolgirls, obviously um, a story that resonates with women and girls around the world, yeah. but why specifically them? What, what was it about that story that really, that really uh, appealed to you? You're right, there are many great causes, but some of the, whatever grips your heart, I think that's what you should go with. And I think that gripped my heart a lot more because I work in schools on a daily basis, Monday to Friday, and I see young boys and young girls having an opportunity to go to school in a safe environment in the UK. Um, and then when I looked at the contrast of what was happening globally, I thought, well, I need to do something about it. So other than the single, what other kind of things have you been doing to try and keep awareness high about the, the fact that these girls are still missing? Brilliant. At the moment what we're doing is just focusing on the single because we had our first event last year. So this year we just want to focus on promoting the single and going out to events. I've been to a few events already um, to speak to their audiences to get to raise awareness of what's happening with the Chibut School Girls and what's happening globally with the girls being denied an education. So it's basically just going out this year just to promote the... make. Um, awareness and give awareness to to raise awareness for the general public. Um, and what, what's your feeling to the fact about the story? Because obviously it happened so long ago now. Um, a few girls did escape, but unfortunately most are still missing. Um, and the media attention has obviously, as other things have flared up in other parts of the world, gone down as a result yeah. of the sheer time that they've they've been gone. And just how um, sad and tragic is that for you, given that it is still um, a story that resonates so strongly with you? It's disappointing that um, in the news th throughout the year it's been alleged that they know where the girls are then they don't know where the girls are so it kind of lifts our hopes and then drops uh, causes us to feel disappointed and then I think of the parents as well of these children you know who are going through the same similar emotional turbulent roller coaster that the world are going through where we're, we're you know on the edge of our seats are these girls gonna come home are they not gonna come home um, and so it is very disappointing that they're not at in safe at home with their families just yet so it is disappointing at times but then we get the glimmers of hopes as to what's happened in Nigeria today and in the, in the months gone past as there could there be a possibility that they can be and placed back home. And what are you hoping that that single that you made will achieve in, in the long term? In the long term um, I'm hoping that it continues to raise awareness because I believe that this may be something that may not go away for a while 
So I want to keep um, what the issues and the cause of what's happening globally in the hearts of mine of, of the nation. Um, good news recently is that the, um, the, the, uh, a woman who is being held by Boko Haram has said the girls are being held in Gwoza town in Borno state. So some hope there surely that there is an indication of where they might be. Yes, definitely some hope. But then I'm human, I'm realistic. Um, does she really see the girls? Is it just something that's been said ahead of the elections? Um, are they given false hope? Is it really, really true? So we want to see, I want to know, and I'm sure many others want to know if it's really, really true that the lady was, you know, where the Chibuk school girls were. Did she see them? Are the Nigerian mil military now going to go and get them? We want to see that, you know, on our screens. Like this, the, There's a line in the song that says, we want to see your faces on our screens. So hopefully we will get to see them on our, on our TV screens saying we're home now. And it was amazing, wasn't it, when they first went missing those few weeks after that, the hashtag, bring back our girls, Michelle Obama, um, many other celebrities around the world getting involved. It was something that really, so it is quite sad to, 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 to think that that has waned recently, hasn't it? That there's, there's really not that movement that there was originally to try and get them back. Yeah, you're right. The, I would say there are a few organisations that are still keeping the bring back our girls hashtag going on Twitter. Um, I know of an organisation that put up the days um, 340 odd days that the girls have been uh, missing they do that every single day so there are some people like myself out there still wanting to keep that candle of hope alive but it, it is um, disappointing that the entire globe has suddenly as you said have gone on to the next big story the next big thing but I believe that if there's one or two organizations that keep that glimmer of hope alive then for the girls when they do when they are free or with the parents mean that they are being supported and we want to welcome them home and we are thinking of them and keeping them in our thoughts and prayers. And organisations like yours, Judith, also very important because it, it doesn't look like, unfortunately, that was the, the only uh, case of something like this happening. Mm -hmm. There are reports that uh, around 400 women and girls were kidnapped um, in Damasak. So um, just crucial to try and keep this um, in the public eye that yeah. this thing is still going on in Nigeria. That's right, because as I said before, I don't think it's the only case that's happened. I think because of what happened last year, it's highlighted that this is going on and it's a case of keeping it in the public eye so that we can continue to raise a voice if, if and when it does happen again. We don't want it to happen again, but should it happen again, you know, there's organisations like myself that will, you know, be on that case. Okay, that's happened. Let's talk about that now. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the momentum going to help, you know, make a difference and make a change in this world that we live in. Judith Denton from Strong and Beautiful, thank you very much indeed for coming in and I hope the single um, is as successful as it looks like it will be. Thanks a lot and thank best of luck. Thank you so much, Simon. Thank you.